You can serve it hot or you can serve it cold. You can make it from scratch or you can use leftovers. Let's make some rice pudding. So today we're gonna to make rice pudding from scratch. So we've got our raw rice here and that leads us to our first question. Which kind of rice should we use? We have a choice. We have short grain, medium grain, or long grain rice. Well, short grain rice is gonna give us a creamier rice pudding, so that's a great one to go with, and you can use milk if you're using short grain rice. Long grain rice is not quite as creamy, so you might wanna substitute some of the milk with cream. Today, we're gonna to use medium grain rice, which is pretty much perfect. So I'm gonna use a relatively big pan here with a lid because we're gonna cover the rice pudding as it cooks. I want a nice pan with nonstick. That's gonna make it easier to clean and easier to stir all that rice around. So first things first, we're gonna get our milk into this pan. Now this might look like a lot of milk, but the reason we're using so much is because we're cooking our rice from scratch. That means that the rice then has to absorb all that liquid as well as then become creamy and soupy into that delicious rice pudding we all love. So when you use raw rice, it's a four or five to one ratio of dairy to rice. If you're using leftover rice to make your rice pudding, you're gonna use a one to one ratio of rice to dairy. We're gonna turn this on and bring it to a simmer. We're gonna stir everything together. So as soon as it comes to a simmer, we're gonna turn this down to the lowest setting and we're gonna put that lid on. Now every three to five, every five to 10 minutes, every once in a while, come back and give this a good stir. Make sure there's still enough liquid in there. If you ever need to dilute this, you're just gonna add a little more milk or cream. So this rice pudding should take about 35 to 40 minutes. You're gonna have stirred it regularly. So we're stirring it again here at the end and we're going to now flavor it. So. What do you want it to taste like? Would you like to add lemon juice and lemon zest? Perhaps a little orange juice, orange zest? How about some white chocolate or even dark chocolate? I'm going to add some bourbon soaked raisins. Very simple to do, just soak the raisins in the bourbon. When you start your rice pudding and half an hour later, you'll have raisins like this. And they'll plump up. I'm straining out that bourbon and adding the raisins. Stir this in along with a couple of other ingredients. I'm always gonna add some vanilla extract. That's just for a nice little boost of flavor. And then I'm looking for consistency. How thin or thick do you want your rice pudding? I'm gonna thin it just a tiny bit with a little bit of heavy cream. That's gonna add to the creaminess of our rice pudding. And remember, this rice will continue to absorb this liquid. So, if you're serving this cold, you might want to reserve that cream until the rice is cold because, of course, it will be thicker then. Now, my favorite part of any food preparation, I'm going to taste it to make sure it's perfect. Mm. The rice is so tender and delicious and creamy. This is perfect. Before we serve it, let's get rid of that cinnamon stick that we had in there. And let's get a little dish. Make sure everybody gets some raisins. Garnish it with a little ground cinnamon. Oh, that's a perfect dessert. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click over here. If you'd like to see everything I used in this recipe, click over here. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for more basics, put them in the comments section below.